Welcome to Alan Berry Reports TV. I'm your host, Alan Berry Labucan from AlanBerryReports.com. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, we have a new install, or actually, this will be our first installment of our uh, week in review uh, show. Um, we're going to kind of switch it up. Sometimes we'll do our market commentary at the end of the week, and uh, sometimes we'll do this uh, week in review. Haven't quite uh, got all the scheduling down, but it uh, felt like it was time to do a week in the review show. Um, but before uh, getting started, we always want to say our thank yous. Uh, we have um, we use YouTube.com and Ustream.tv to uh, produce and broadcast these shows. They're great websites, and we thank the folks over there at those two uh, uh, sites do a great job. And uh, we have links to those two uh, ch our YouTube and U uh, Ustream channels on our um, just above me there. So uh, that's where we have a lot of our lap past shows. So all of our past shows actually, and a great place to uh, check out our work. Um, also, we always I like to say thank you. Uh, if, you if you're watching the show on, the, on our website at allenberryreports.com, you'll notice to the left and to the right of me that uh, we have some banner sponsors. Um, those banner sponsors are very important and help us to be able to uh, bring this show to you. And uh, so we want to thank them. And uh, if you click on their banner, it'll take you to their websites where you can do your own homework on those companies. Um, and then, of course, we have to say thank you to our viewers. Uh, you know, you showing up and tuning in uh, makes the show worth doing. So thank you very much for coming. Um, we're going to get right to the show. But before we get started, I just had some... Um, uh, it's been a while since I did sort of a housekeeping uh, overview of our website. And we've, we, re we made some changes not too long ago. Um, one of the key changes that we made is we added a new... Um, uh, video uh, player to our website right in the center of our website and uh, since then for the last oh, six weeks or so uh, we've been producing all of our new shows and that's our main um, um, primary uh, place for our broadcast of our shows um, again all of our past shows are on our YouTube and Ustream channels uh, but this is where we uh, broadcast the uh, the primary uh, place to broadcast our shows. Now, uh, below the video player is our, uh, we have a text field there. And uh, we use that to announce when we're do what uh, the shows are, when we post them. Um, if you... Uh, Say, for example, this show today uh, will replace the, the uh, yesterday's show. Now, if, uh, if you, on our video player, one show uh, starts after the next. So today's show will be first up, then yesterday's show, and the show before that, and the show before that. So uh, there's several shows, I think close to 10, have now been uh, uploaded into that system. Um, now, if you want to... Uh, Another good way uh, to navigate through our various different shows is, um, for example, today's show is October the 29th. Now, on October the 28th, we had a show out and we talked about uh, Stornoway Diamonds, Rubicon Minerals, and Xtori uh, Gold Mines in that show. And then we'll have the link to the YouTube channel that'll take you directly to that show. Uh, on the 27th, uh, we had a show out. And uh, we talked about Minera Andes, Sand Gold Corp, and Bear Creek Mining. And that has a link uh, on October 27th to the YouTube channel where you can find the show. And then uh, earlier on the week, we, uh, the, uh, on Tuesday, we had a show out. And in that one, we talked about Kirkland Lake Gold, Queenston Mining, and International Tower Hill Mines. And so, and then that one will be linked to the YouTube channel. So, uh, if you miss the show when it's in the main pl video player on the website, you can always look below, and you'll see that text uh, uh, field. Uh, and in there, uh, we have all the updates. I should probably put a little Allenberry Report updates button on there, uh, just to give it a title. But that's basically what it is: updates on the work we're doing. Uh, and so. Um, uh, and then the best way to keep in touch and know what we're working on is to subscribe to our email uh, broadcast list. What we do is anybody who's subscribed to our, uh, our email list, 
whenever we put out, say for example, a new video, we send a message out to uh, to our uh, to our email subscribers. Um, if I'm ever doing public uh, speaking engagements, for example, a couple weeks ago I did an interview on Business News Network uh, BNN, uh, BNN.ca up here in Canada, and uh, I have a link to that uh, on the uh, on uh, on that update section as well. Uh, but before going on the show, I sent out an email to all of our subscribers so that they could tune in if they wanted, or they can watch it as a, on recording. So that's another real. That's the best way to keep up to speed on what we're working on. So we invite. There's no charge to be on our email subscriber list, and uh, uh, we'd appreciate. We'd love to have you on there. So just uh, hit the subscribe button and. Um, uh, it's that simple. Just fill out a few uh, few things of information there, and uh, and uh, we'll add you to our a subscription list. Um, so that's the housekeeping uh, things I wanted to talk about. Now we're going to get into the <clears throat> week in review. Um, you know, last Friday we did a market commentary show, and in that show we talked about some of the key reasons that some of the trends that we were seeing. Uh, primarily that uh, the uh, U.S. dollar had been gaining some strength during the week, uh, although we believe it's on a long-term bear market. Um, sometimes during bear markets you get these counter-trend rallies. We also seen the same, th the opposite happening with commodities. Um, the trends for commodities have been on a multi-year, pretty much a decade-long uh, bull market. And uh, and sometimes in a bowl, uh, when you get these rallies, <clears throat> you can see some profit taking, and and uh, uh, and so that's a counter trend move. And you know, although we saw the counter trend moves, the fundamental reasons why commodities had been performing as they had been uh, was still in sound shape, supply soft. Uh, demand strong, uh, you know, this combination is a perfect recipe for a, for a bullish move in prices and that's what we have been seeing for, for a number of years and expect to see because the fundamentals really hadn't changed. On the other hand, if you look at the fundamentals of the U.S. dollar, which has been on a long-term bear market, uh, they're printing lots of cash, they're running up big deficits and increasing the uh, the um, uh, national debt dramatically. Those are a recipe for a downtrend in a currency. We've seen it for a number of years. We expect to see it continue. Uh, you know, we hear a lot of jibber jabber by uh, economic uh, uh, pundits and, and a big, a big pro high profile economists talk about, uh, well, we're not going to devalue our currency and those uh, the the Chinese are uh, manipulating their currency. Well, I hate to tell you, if you uh, manipulate your uh, your debt market, uh, which is what these QE uh, quantitative easing plans are all about, you're effectively manipulating your currency as well. So. Um, I, I think that uh, this nonsense about uh, politicians wanting to call uh, the uh, Chinese um, currency manipulators, um, you know, you don't want to uh, look in that mirror too much because what you'll see is that uh, uh, not only is the uh, uh, Fed uh, manipulating the debt market and, and interest rates, uh, they are also uh, by by effect uh, uh, manipulating the currency and uh, competitively trying to devalue it, uh, which they're very good at. They've been doing it for a number of years, and uh, they continue to want to devalue the currency. Somehow, I uh, I, I think it's um, uh, this battle amongst several countries that seem to want to th seem to believe that the the recipe for their uh, you know their a better uh, economic situation is to have a, a, a less valued currency, and if you're always trying to be the lowest, uh, the the lowest cost uh, uh, producer of whatever, um, there's always going to be somebody who can produce that go those goods at uh, at cheaper prices, and uh, I, I think it's much more important to uh, focus on what you do well. 
For example, up here in Canada, we produce raw materials. That's what we do well. We don't really manufacture things well. We can't really compete on that front. But what we do well is we produce raw materials. So focus on that. On the other hand, in the United States, you know, historically they produced a lot of really great uh, products. Products that uh, are viral throughout the world, uh, you know, look at Coca-Cola and McDonald's and, you know, um, and things like that. These companies, these companies are focused on what they do well. Stick to that. Don't worry about trying to be all the time the lowest cost producers. Focus on, instead of producing, um, you know, poor quality vehicles, why don't you pr try to produce the best quality vehicles? And, uh, you know, things like that, this, all this, uh, uh, this mentality of always trying to devalue your currency, it, it leads to uh, a bridge to uh, a boulevard of broken dreams, if you will. Um, but there you go. That's, uh, that's what we talked about last week. And then this week we saw uh, that kind of an action where we saw, uh, we don't think, when, when you see the counter trend rallies, they don't usually last for very long. Uh, they're not very severe, so in a in a in an uptrend in a bull, bearish trend, if you got a long term bearish trend, you get a little up rally. It usually doesn't last very long, and then the then the rally and then the trend continues. Same thing in a bull trend. Uh, the pullbacks are usually pretty mild, don't last long. Then you uh, then you get a uh, resumption of the bull market, and that's what we saw this week. The uh, U.S. dollar came under pressure. Commodities went up. So, uh, you know, and then uh, uh, during the week, we talked a lot in our shows, as I mentioned, those past shows earlier, uh, we talked a lot about several uh, resource companies that had um, had uh, uh, had good developments out recently. We talked about those developments in the news releases that they had. Now, there's uh, this brings up a really important point. We're very bullish on commodities. Uh, because of the long-term fundamentals of soft supply, not enough money going into exploration and new development of new producing properties has seriously weakened the supply chains. And then you've got uh, all this demand coming from emerging economies and, uh, and developed economies. And uh, there's just not enough of a lot of the commodities that we follow to meet that demand. And so that's why prices have been going up for a long time. We expect them to continue. But the cheapest way to buy those commodities is buying them in the ground. And that's, you got to look at resource companies to do that. And the real way, there's two key reasons why we like that philosophy. One, it's a cheap way to buy those commodities. You get it at a discount. And two, and this is the most important thing, if you are capable of finding high quality resource companies and uh uh, ha that are fundamentally undervalued that those kind of companies will far outperform the movement in the price of the underlying commodities that they're involved with so those are the two key reasons that we're very bullish on resource stocks and why we talk about them so much on our shows and so that's a wrap on uh, on our uh, weekend review. Before closing, we always like we have to stress that this show and our and our uh, reports are for information purposes only. We aren't making buying or selling recommendations. It's important for you to do your own research and speak with your financial advisors before making any investment decisions. We're always trying to grow our audience and any effort you can make to uh, help us with that effort, uh, we'd really appreciate it. Send out some uh, uh, messages on email or uh, however you get word out, the old-fashioned uh, telephone, uh, letting some of your friends know about our reports. We'd really appreciate it appreciate that we also really appreciate you taking the time to uh, tune in and watch the shows we know everybody's very busy these days and um, we strive to produce a show that saves you time and brings you helpful high quality information um, the next show is going to be another in the news sh uh, segment uh, likely on Tuesday um, sometime we might have it on Monday but most likely on Tuesday again subscribe to our reports and you can know when we're doing them um, we hope you can join us for those future shows and uh, as always you can find all of our work on our website at allenberryreports.com we'll see you soon hope you tune in for our next show have a great day